Hey everybody, it's Benjamin15 and we're going to review a very popular pen, the Zebra F701. Okay, uh, it is an all metal pen made by Zebra. It's got a nice, satisfying click noise in action. It's a little loose when it's fully extended and then just very nice spring. Okay. A particular point of uh, interest for me is this knurled grip, okay? I'm not a huge fan of the oversized plastic, um, you know, comfort grips, but this one, this seems to be um, what I really prefer. Something similar thickness to the barrel, but with a knurled texture. Uh, their 301 line has uh, plastic uh kind of textured checkered pattern but by far i prefer this one okay so the parts break down very simply the cone will unscrew uh the first time that you unscrew it it's going to be a little bit of effort but trust me don't put a wrench or anything on it okay got a nice strong spring and an enclosed ballpoint refill and then of course the remainder of the body Nice strong clip too. All right. So you'll see this pin in a lot of um, everyday carry videos, and there's a ton of modifications that people will do with it. Uh, they'll put another. I think one of the most popular ones is, is they'll take the refill from a, a Fisher Space pen and put it and replace it. Uh, you certainly can do it. Uh, the the video, the YouTube channel Unsharpen and the blog Unsharpen, one of my favorites, uh, has a video on how to replace it with a gel refill with just um, a slight modification. I just think you need to buy the proper refill and kind of stretch the spring out a little bit and you're boom, good to go. All right, so let's see how this thing writes. The big story of the week has been uh, the impact of the ice storm in the south, uh, mostly Texas, but um, Louisiana obviously is adjacent to it. We had electricity for most of it, but uh, we have lost water pressure, and it's been about a week since we've had any water. So we're still out of water, but hey, it could have been a lot worse. But you see, the they sell the F01 with a .8 millimeter uh, size tip but if you notice that is a very oh, let me focus a little bit that is a very tight writing so what I wanted to do is just demonstrate the difference between the ballpoint and the gel of a similar size so this is a ballpoint in 0.8 okay and the difference is this is a more of an oil based ink so it's very precise. It doesn't flood the area with the ink. Now this is a Pilot G2 in a 0.7. So it's only a millimeter off. So as comparison, you see how you get a nice fat line? Okay. So the ink of the gel is actually flooding the area. So a smaller, a smaller gel tip size is going to deliver a similar size to a wider ball pen, ballpoint, excuse me. And some of the other benefit is it's good for lefties because it dries so quickly. A little bit of smear right there. But I mean, I don't like to give it any time. I, I, I want that stuff to dry very quickly. So let's try that lefties again. I mean, you can almost kind of see, see, there you go. That's the difference. All right, but if I'm using gel, I understand that that's the downfall of gel, okay? Also, the ballpoint pen ink is gonna last much longer than the gel ink or rollerball ink because it's not flooding the area. You're actually gonna use it a little bit more efficiently. So, last test. Let's see how it does with the highlighter, okay? Remember, I went to a very prestigious stationery store, the Dollar General, and got my highlighter. And it does very well. So, 
if this is going to be your everyday carry, by all means, it's a great pen. Uh, if, if you have to call it tactical, by all means, call it tactical. I don't see any scopes or optics on it, but, you know, if you're all about that tactical life, go ahead. All right, let's wrap up. All right. It's a full metal pen. Durable. It's got the perfect grip, if you ask me. Same diameter of the body, but just a little bit raised, knurled grip. Tons of modifications. There, you, that, That's a whole other YouTube channel or podcast or mini-series about the modifications that you can do to the F701. The price for the pin is under $10. Let's see what I did there. Let's see, price is under... Okay, I'll see myself out. And of course, uh, if you can follow me on these socials, that would be great. Instagram, uh, I'm quite prolific on that. I, I read a philosophy book once, and I tried to think of myself as a philosopher there. YouTube, hopefully you've seen the, the channels, uh, all, all my four followers. God bless you all. Twitter, not so much. And TikTok, I'm just having um, a fun time pretending like I'm a teenager. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, thanks for all the, the well wishes about my recovery. I hit a milestone. I'm almost fully recovered from my surgery. So thank you very much. Be kind and have a great day, guys.